Hi, I'm Javis Lewis, and today I'm going to show you how to dismiss the keyboard in your iOS applications. The behavior of how to dismiss the keyboard on iOS has mystified many generations, and today in this screencast we're going to look at that. Here's the behavior that we would like. This is a single view application here, very simple, with one text field here. If we tap into it, then the keyboard comes up. We can type some stuff or we can not type some stuff, whatever we like, but when we hit the return button, we would like the keyboard to go away, like so. Furthermore, when we type in this again, and we type outside the text field somewhere, we would also like the keyboard to disappear. Well, by default, when you tap into a text field, and then you either hit the return button, or you tap outside the text field, the keyboard stays on the screen, and it's a tad annoying, and it's a little bit mystifying how to do that. So with a brand new application, we're going to have a look at how we can make this behavior happen. We're going to start with a brand new Xcode project here. And we're going to select from iOS, we're going to select the single view application. Keeps it nice and simple. I'm only going to select this for iPhone and I'll call it text field fun. But you can of course you call it anything you like. I'll add it to my desktop. And the first thing we're going to go into the storyboard here, find a text field. Here it is. If you can't find it from that uh, object pane here, just search for text field and you'll have this one. We'll drag that in, not into the middle because half the screen will be occupied by the keyboard later. So we'll put it somewhere here. We need a property so we can talk to that text field, and since we only have one view controller here, that'll be, that'll be appropriate. Let's switch into the Assistant Editor, and make sure we're on the view controller implementation or header file. It doesn't really make a difference as long as it goes between the interface and at end declarations here. Control drag from that text field into this area, not down here, not above here, just in here and select an outlet. I'm going to call it my text field. There. We go back full screen and without anything else we're just going to go and run this application on our simulator. And this will demonstrate the default behavior of that text field. You tap into it, keyboard comes up, type something or don't type something, hit return, nothing happens. Hit outside the text field, nothing happens. Those are two different things we need to implement here and we're going to start with the return button down here. The way this works with a text field, it has not much to do with the actual keyboard, it is the text field that we need to address. Uh, there is a delegate protocol that we can implement which is the UI text field delegate and that upon the return button being pressed will send the message. Uh, we can implement that uh, is that delegate method and then react to it accordingly and we'll do that right now. So let's head over to the view controller implementation file And up here, uh, next to the at interface, you can do this either in the header file or the implementation file. We're going to tell this class that it will conform to the UI text field delegate. Just put that in these angular brackets. I don't actually know what they're called, but I think they're angular brackets. So this is not strictly necessary, but it means that this class will conform to that protocol. And if you implement that, if you add those angular brackets, then you get code completion, which is really nice. We're not going to touch any of these methods, so I'm going to fold those. View did load, did receive memory warning, there's these um, standard methods here that come as part of the template. I always like putting a pragma mark before I start a new section, so I'll do that right away. Pragma mark. Again, this is just something, you know, for the eyes, really. And then just type text field, and you get a big list of things. And you're gonna, we're gonna implement one specific method here text field. Um, there we go, you can see that better. 
text field should return is the method we want. There's several text field methods in this list, so make sure you pick the right one. It's text field should return. And as I said, the delegate will call this method if somebody clicks the return button. We need to return a bool, and uh, in this case we're going to return yes. If we return no, then it doesn't return. If we return yes, then yes, the keyboard will disappear. Uh, I will also lock this. All right, let's run this and see if that method is actually being called. I hit return. Nothing happens. Well, why is that, you wonder? It's even though we've implemented that method correctly, we have not told this text field which class is going to be the delegate. Back into the storyboard for that. Again, this is really easy and it's easy to overlook a step here. You have several ways of doing that. You can, the easiest one is to click on that text field here, just make sure it's highlighted in blue. If that's difficult, you can always look in the, um, in the scene dock here and just select that round style text field from here. Uh, while you hold down control, drag from the text field to that orange thing here, which is, which is the object that represents the view controller. And if you let go of that, you get a few options. And one of them is the delegate under outlet. So you can either select that, you can also with that text field selected, hold control and instead of dragging it over here, you can also drag it over here. It's the same object and it'll bring you the same options here, also delegate. And the third way of doing it is if you select the text field, go over here to your connections inspector and then you find a delegate property here, this little hole which is currently unconnected, otherwise it would look like this here. So you can also control drag from this little plus sign and then either drag down here or drag up here. It's all these three things will have the same effect. I'll just do this one and this will now have the delegate connected. Just to be on the just to check this, let's click our round style text field and there we go. View controller is connected. Just to prove a point, I can also take that away again and just control drag from that text field down here, select delegate and we can see it's connected. Well, let's try this again, shall we? Run an app, go into the text field, type something, or don't type something, hit return, and there we go. We can see that method is being called. Text field was dismissed by the delegate. My log message. Well, that's great that the method is being called every time I hit the return key. That's good, but the text field is still there. Let's get rid of it. Why is it still there? Well, let's go back into the view controller implementation file into our method that currently only prints out the log method message. And let's talk to our text field, which we've defined as a property, so it's self my text field, and ask it to resign the first responder status. So we'll say resign first responder. And that means remove focus from the text field and as soon as that happens the keyboard will go away. I'm saying self my text field because I have a property here. You could also have said text field resign first responder. In this case it's the same only because the delegate method will pass the actual text field in that sends this message. So in theory we could have several text fields. So I want mine to be specifically dismissed but self text field and text field will be exactly the same in this case. Just something to be aware of. We don't need this. But you could also then perform a check if text field equals self my text field then you're sure it's your text field and so forth. There's another you know possibility. Let's run this again. Click in, hit return, keyboard disappears. We like it. Very nice. Type something, hit return, it disappears. Very cool. But one thing that isn't quite working yet is if you type if, if you type into the text field and then you press outside the text field, the keyboard doesn't disappear. And it looks like there's no delegate method that we can call for that to happen. Instead we can use something that may 
appear to be a bit of a hack, but believe me, trust me, this is the way to do it. Uh, not quite sure why there's no other way, but this is this is one way of doing it. You go back into the storyboard and clear that search box here and drag in a button. Just a standard old round wrecked button. Just drag it right in the middle here. And make it as large as the pressable area on which people can click so that the keyboard needs to be dismissed. So you can make it just size it so that it the button goes over the whole screen, you can do that, or you can just make it a bit smaller because at the bottom here will be the keyboard anyway, so I'll just make it this big. And this button here right now, let's go to the attributes inspector and give it a specific type which is custom. Custom on older iOS versions will make this button completely disappear. If you remember before iOS 7, these buttons had a thick blue color or a thick gray color with a label on it, and we don't really want that here. So we also don't want this to be called button, so we'll just clear that text away, and then it's on iOS 7 already completely invisible. The one thing to note, if I were to do this now. Actually, let's let's also connect this button. Sorry, before we go ahead, let's uh, connect this button with the assistant editor to an action here between interface and end here, and make sure it's an action. And we're going to call it dismiss keyboard. Very cool. Come out of that. Uh, so that's connected, that's hooked up. When someone presses the button, uh, our method is being called. But, sadly, if I were to run this now, uh, I can't seem to go into that text field anymore. And the reason for that is that currently, by default, the button is in the foreground. So even though it's invisible, it means everything behind it will be unaccessible. So what we really need is to put the button in the background. And you'd imagine there'd be some kind of logic here in Interface Builder that if something like our button is at the bottom of the list, uh, it'll be in the background of the view. But of course it isn't. It's exactly the opposite. So whatever is at the top of the list is in the background of the view. One of those things, very difficult to see right now. If the button would be opaque, then everything would be... Um, you wouldn't be able to see the text field in the background, so that's a visual indication. But yeah, in case that happens to you, then the button is in the foreground and it needs to be in the background. There's also an option that sometimes works, I don't know why it only sometimes works, not all the time, is uh, at the, uh, on the top menu bar you have um, editor and you can, uh, you can say arrange uh, send back or send to back. That should do the same thing, doesn't always work, I don't know why. I, I prefer to do it this way because I know this works every time. So let's run this again. And now we can click into our text field again. Clicking outside currently has no effect yet. Well, let's just check. Our return button still works. I like it. All right, let's go into the view controller implementation file and see where Xcode has put our method at the very bottom. Nice. So. Here's our dismiss keyboard method, and just like here, I will add another little log message so that we know what's happening when was dismissed by the button in this case. So uh, if someone presses the button, this should happen. I'm not going to test this, you're just going to have to trust me on this. Uh, we can do the same thing as we did up here. We can say uh, self my text to resign first responder, but that's not as smart as what we're going to do, which is we're just going to call this delegate method ourselves. So in case you do some other fancy setup here, you don't have to copy and paste this entire code in here. You're just going to call this method, and then whatever you amend in this method will be called automatically if someone presses the um, uh, background button. So the way to do that is to say self text field should return. Uh, UI text field, you can give it um, self text, uh, self my text field here. Or you can give it nil, it's, it's, uh, it's fine as well because we're going to, we're testing this here anyway. Let's run this and see if I'm right. 
click in it, keyboard comes up, return key still works. Our log message says text field was dismissed by the delegate. All right, good. Let's see what happens when we type into the text field. Tap that button. Text field was dismissed by the delegate as well. Interesting. Oh, there we go. It also says text field was dismissed by the button. Of course, it'll give us both log messages. It will give this because I've pressed the button, and then it'll give us this because it's calling that method. Great. So now we can type something and we can hit return and the keyboard goes away or we can type something and we can press anywhere on the background here and then the keyboard goes away. It's exactly what we want. Return button and the background. Great, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. Drop me a line in the comments of this video or on the uh, blog post here. Um, and if you really, really like that video, don't forget to subscribe to my channels and share this video with friends, family, and total strangers. See you later.